What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. We're going for, I think it's episode 8 now of Road to Glory, which is absolutely crazy. Trying to get that daily upload. Um, as you can see, yesterday they did bring out that flashback Chikorita. Uh, absolutely naughty card. Of course I was doing it. Um, to be honest, he fits really nicely in my team. Uh, the only issue is that I do have informed Lukaku up there. Um, obviously, Ubamiang is uh, untradeable. So, we do do it anyway. I thought, you know what? I'm, I want to try and do as many squad builders as I can. Um, I've done a hell of a lot this past week. Um, I think I've pretty much rinsed every squad builder that you can do. Um, ac like according to the players anyway. I have a still, obviously haven't done the leagues yet. But... There's no way that I was missing out on this card. I really didn't put much into him, um, as I already packed quite a few in, uh, quite a few high rated. Um, obviously, you saw Edison, Edison, and all my teams in there. Probably could have got a, a maybe a cheaper team to do it, um, but with the players that I had already, I thought, you know what, I'll just whack them in. Um, it really, I think it cost me about. 30 40k at the very least to buy maybe company and, and a couple of others just to to bulk out the squad a little bit i think even less than that i think more more likely about 30k um so i'm quite happy with that in general um any of the players that i do have they're worth they're worth it anyway um do try and get something in these packs though uh first packet obviously open up as you can see don't really get anything at 79 um i did see someone get um i think it was suarez or mbappe in it as well um so i was hoping for something like that nothing in there but to be honest i probably make my money back um overall when it comes to the players that i have actually bought um anyone who have packed obviously i've not made um i've not actually spent anything on them so i don't take them as uh as as points really they they're kind of just in my club second time round, we do get a boards we do get balotelli uh but nothing really to shout about um so in general pretty happy with that reward um not terrible uh some some decent players that possibly could either be sold or go into other sbcs um but in general i've played i think i've only put a brought on uh hernandez as a sub uh for one game during this episode and he, he scores an absolute banger already so what i've done now is i haven't shown it at the very end um that is how i line up now um i do put him back for the time being as I kind of wanted to give Lukaku a little bit of a shout just yet. I paid about 285 for him. So um, when I came back off, I had a look and he has gone up to just over 300. So I'm thinking I've put him on now for 330. See if I get any lazy buyers um, just for the, like, the time being as I don't need him. Um, and I'll see if he sells and keep Hernandez up there and see uh, what he does. So going into my first draft of this Road to Glory, um, I'm not really renowned for drafts. I I think I played 10 last year, uh, and I think I only won one. That and that is the reason I'm not I'm not a huge draft player. I find the game it's different. I think I play rivals, I play foot champs, and I play squad battles. Um, and drafts just do does not seem to be my thing. I don't know if it's because I'm trying so many formations or necessarily I'm not picking the great picks. Um, as you saw, obviously, right at the start, there was uh, Lineker there, and I choose Neymar. And I completely forgot that the, the formation was no left mids. I thought it was, to be honest, I did think it was 4-2-1-2 uh, with the left mid and right mids. Um, that is why I did go for Neymar, and Neymar's really good in this game. Uh, but he was a super stud nonetheless. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm already shaping up to be a BPL team. Um, again... Uh, there was George Best there, but not not the right pick for me, as obviously right mid. I will continue doing these. I'll try and probably do a couple every week and just throw them in there, just really show the highlights. Um, as you do get some decent packs, and even if you can make it halfway up, um, it's better than nothing. And to be honest, uh, you more than likely make at least 15k once you finish them. Obviously, I, I use this one as it's my first one with 300 points worth of FIFA points and as you can see there I do whack out uh, Busquets just to make sure that I get that 100 chem um, obviously everyone's not on I believe 10 well I think it's just that left mid that's not on 10 um, but starting up I'll whack Busquets on I'll probably just keep him in that left left center mid roll to be honest um, because there's no point putting CDM as Henderson put pushing up I'd rather have Busquets there um, especially with his scream card and I can't quite remember what his uh what his stats were saying when it when it whether it was uh, 90 pace um, or 90 uh, physical defending and dribbling um, it was it was one of the two I'm pretty sure his shooting wasn't 90 uh, but going into this first one obviously you see there he's already got two legends I was already panicking from that 
Um, he had a really solid team and straight away, I think, watch this, like the sixth minute, he comes in. Instead of like a normal person pressing B, I decided to try and pass it out. Like, I don't know what was going through my head. I thought, you know what? Let's just try and pass it out of the 10-yard the line. Um, but it, it cost me in general, and I think that's that's really the main thing that I've got to work on is uh, is my defensive clearances. I think I try and play out too much, and in them positions, i just got to get rid because it's goals like that that, that really can, can affect me. Um, as you can see, Aubameyang absolutely killing it. And Nedved here working the line. Um, keeper did all right, but... I, I kind of expect a little parry, but when you're five yards out and he's just finessing, what, I don't know what you expect, to be honest. Um, going into the last, I think it was the last 10, 10 minutes, he does manage to score an absolute banger from outside the box. Uh, nothing I could really do there. He was a better player than me, um, and I, the, the team just didn't gel for me. Um, so maybe I'll try a different aspect to try and go in for drafts. Maybe try and see what formations there is and try and pick the ones I've done just to get that bit of comfortable um but I, I just i don't know what it is i feel like it's the gameplay um it it i don't know what it is if it runs a bit slower for me um it just feels different compared to rivals i don't know if it's that the, just the team as well this year um or in in this draft particular um the team didn't really work for me so it may be that i've got to work on my uh, squad building skills but nonetheless we do Go out in the first round, which is uh, pretty normal for drafts for me. And that's why I don't really like them. Um, mainly because I just, yeah, it, it's not worth it for me. Um, because I don't really do, like I've seen, I think I've watched Bates in a few times on his drafts. He's winning three or four drafts an episode. And I'm like, I can't even win one. So, but I'll still try, I'll still try and get better, and then possibly we can reflect on how we've done better from the year. Um, but I do get an ultimate loan there, get Busquets. Um, I'm thinking of keeping him um, just as a loan, just just in case I decide to whack him in any any sort of uh, team that needs him. Um, going into the silver pack, now this is the, this is the pack that I really wanted to, uh, to open, just because the gold pack means nothing to me, but the silver... As you can see there, uh, well, I don't know if I gave you enough notice. There's three French one league players there, and I make absolute bank on it. Um, I think in general, them three or four players make 15k for me right there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I'm going to actually sell them or um, start to possibly complete the uh, the league species um, as I do finish another one in this episode, which so happens to be the French league as well. Um, I'm debating possibly like kind of saving up my players over the over the time um, and trying to complete as many as I can. Um, I'm kind of having a little think with that. And currently, whilst after this video, I haven't actually sold any of these players yet. Um, so I'm debating whether it's worth trying to kind of pack my way to the league SBCs. Um, but obviously, if I come to like three or four players left in a squad, I will try and uh, to finish it off and get it done. Um, but yeah, going into the next part of this video, we've done the drafts, we've done the squad builders. Uh, we're going into the player of the year from Sweden. So this popped up in the morning. I had a look because um, obviously I did flashback uh, Hernandez yesterday um, and I saw this this morning and I swear it wasn't there. It may have been in the morning that they did bring it out. As you can see there, I've already pre-done this um, and it is. it looks a really nice card. I only had a quick look whilst I was at work um, and I must admit, it looks good for an 82, and I really can't get over this animation when it comes to the the Sancho, the Hernandez, um, and then also this purple uh, this purple one. It looks very very fresh. I must admit, I do like it. Um, I think the walkout's great, and this this is a great animation for him. Nice slide in, and then a little uh, turn around the board. Y you yeah, I I really like it. I think they've definitely done well, and I think that's that's a really big point for me for EA. Um, I do like the packs this year. Even though I don't think there's a tell to know if there's boards. Obviously, we know the walkout sign, which everyone is absolutely loving. Um, the, the stats on this card as well. It's pretty good for an 82. I think for, for what it was worth, I think I didn't buy anyone. So everyone was in my club. Um, I must admit, I really liked it. So going into the next squad builder we're doing. And obviously, as you can see there, it is AS Monaco. Um, another good good one. I didn't... The one, the one problem is I saw gold players pack... I didn't realize it was only one rare. Um, that's, yeah, that's something I really need to work on is knowing the packs. I really don't, apart from like your 50k, your 100k, um, the 25, I, I don't know the pack names. And yeah, 
it's it's becoming that. But I didn't really get anything. Got an 81, um, and then a few players that can go into my club. As it didn't really cost me anything, I'm not really complaining at it. But going into the final segment, I want to say, yeah, final segment of this, we have got some squad battles as well. Just one game, finishing off my first row of four. Um, really, squad battles for me have been hit and miss. I do like them, but I'm just unsure with them. It, it's it's very pass orientated and just a frustration of going up on, on say, world-class legendary um, and just getting them to pass around you. I really struggle this year, and I do not know what was going on for this penalty. Um, it happened in, like, the, what what minute we in? Like, the 15th, 16th? Um, yeah, it, it just happened, and I was like, I'd never get penalties, so I'm taking it. Saw Lukaku, I thought, you know what? Give give it to Lukaku, and yeah, of course, he's going to do what he does in real life. He's going to miss. Flicks it in. I thought Aubameyang might have been off on there, but he just managed to creep back on um, and scores my first goal for me, so pretty happy about that. And then they answer back with this. Chest it on and a volley. Yeah, th there's not a lot you can do about that. And that is a problem with draft for me. It just, I don't know. I With this draft, I think I only played this one on professional. Um, just to really get myself back into it. As I don't really want to go for world class and then possibly lose more. Um, because I may as well win on professional and get the most out of the points. Um, and get the five goals. And then and then kind of progress over the time. I haven't played much squad battles, so I'm trying to kind of keep up with it. And this goal here, one two touches and bang. That was his. I think that was his fourth shot of the game. Um, I brought him on at half time, and he scores an absolute peach. I even put the replay on it because I've got. I think there's going to be some good things coming from him. His uh, his awareness and his attacking position is absolutely phenomenal, and he's probably the only person I've scored a flick goal with, which is unbelievable. I don't try them much, but um, that was absolutely outstanding. So I'll be definitely trying that more often. And then Ubameyang tries to equalise that better uh, with the fifth goal as an overhead kick. So that finishes off the game. We managed to win 5-1. Um, only professional, so it isn't it isn't a great victory in the sense of not one on legendary 5-0. But it's a start, and that's the whole point for me. Um, I think that takes us up to silver 1, I want to say. We'll find out just now. I'm pretty sure it's silver 1, um, nearly in that gold 3. So I'll be absolutely smashing these out um, and showing you some highlights from the squad battles. So moving into the final segment of this video, um, today on, what is it, it's a Tuesday, uh, 6 o'clock they brought out another foot swap, so I will be just one moment in finishing that, very easy to do, two Bundesliga players, there's no uh, maximums, uh, I think it's minimum three nationalities, uh, two rare players, no ratings, uh, 80 chem, and Bob's your uncle it is absolutely easy. Um, I'll probably put too much in that I probably don't need to. But I thought, you know what, I'll get it out of the way, get it done. And that brings us up to nine uh, foot swaps so far. Ten if I do the three online matches, which I'll probably be doing tomorrow or the day after. And then finally, we have one coming in the squad battles rewards. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. Uh, trying to bring these out daily as I can. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and peace.